Hello there everyone, welcome back to another video about the One Piece card game. I'm continuing my coverage of set 6 today with a discussion of all the cards that you can play in the Hody Jones deck. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we'll begin with the leader, this is very important to understand um, how the deck functions because this does contextualize it. So uh, this is a 5 life monocolor leader, activate main, you may rest this leader. Rest up to one of your opponent's characters that cost 3 or less, or one of their don. Then, during this turn, you cannot add life cards to your hand through your own effects. So, um, this is essentially you're taking a detriment here in not being able to attack, but you are going to be saving yourself potential damage that you will be taking uh, from various different effects. Um, in particular, I think this is a uh, powerful effect in the mid game into uh, those sort of more mid rangey decks that are playing twos and threes out. Uh, fairly frequently uh, to enable you to attack into them but of course the obvious downside of you not having uh, an leader attack is ser is like a serious thing to bear in mind um i think the most obvious deck this is really good into is uh white beard and red purple doffy uh green purple doffy um just because those are decks that always have gone up um almost always and so you're able to really disrupt um their defensive capabilities uh through using this leader or certainly force them to play in an unoptimal way on the previous turn to play around this leader effect so um it's very good into a format where if those two decks happen to be like pretty dominant this will be a nice anti meta pick Okay, so let's go through some of the cards. We've got a 4 6 Arlong here, which says on play, you may discard one card from your hand. Up to one of your opponent's arrested leaders may not attack until the end of their next turn. So, this is a very, very powerful effect. If you are in a board, and this is generic as well, worth saying, you don't need a Fishman Pirate Leader or anything. So, this is something that, like, may end up being a really valuable tech card um, in the future. Um, so, it can't attack in a situation where your opponent doesn't really have rush units and is able to just like, and you're able to like clear their board, this is kind of busted because you're establishing like a useful unit that is also just going to like sit there and be like, well, what are you gonna do? You can't kill me. And against certain decks, right, into yellow, this is extremely good against yellow. The problem is um, green tends not to have fantastic removal unless you're playing something like green, black, Verona, which we'll talk about in another video. Um, and so this is a little bit awkward. It's certainly very, very good, but it's not gonna be ever at its like maximum uh, strength as it, as it, like sort of in a vacuum uh, until you are able to combine it with really powerful removal uh, the trigger rests one of your opponents cost four lower characters which is a pretty decent trigger but i think more often than not you're just going to add it to hand and play it uh, then we got uh, Icross Much. This is a 5-6. Uh, on play, if your leader is new Fishman Pirates, play one Fishman type character with a cost of 4 or less and then add the top card of your life to your hands. This is obviously very, very powerful. It's a 5-6. It's going to let you uh, put out another unit of 4 cost or lower. And if you use your Hody Jones leader effect, um, then you don't even need to take damage. So in the early game, I think this is uh, really, really powerful. And uh, then we've got Kami. This is a top 4 searcher for Fishman or Merfolk. Then we've got, uh, that is not meant to be in this video, very funny. Uh, then we got Zeo. Uh, this is a 2-3, 2k counter, Fishman traded. Uh, Don 1-1 attacking, if your leader has the new Fishman Pirates type, set to one of your Don as active, and then this character gains 1k for the turn. So this is a 5k attacker that is untapping your Don. It's okay, it's actually a pretty decent 2k counter, but realistically you are just going to be using this as a searchable 2k counter. Then you've got Daruma, this is a 3-4, 1k counter, Don 1 when attacking once per turn. If your leader has the new Fishman Pirates type, set this character as active and give it 1k for the turn, then add the top card of your life to your hand. So this is very, very good because you're able to stack it up um, as much as you want. You don't need to like um, be controlling for the amount of Dawn. Like um, the the comparison here is the is green, blue, Zoro Sanji. Um, so it's different to that. Um, you can just load this up and swing twice with it. I think this is a very, very good card, staple four of um, in the Fishman deck. Uh, it's easy to remove is the only downside, but it's a very good card. Then we've got Dosen. This is a 3-4, 1k counter. When attacking, if your leader has the new Fishman Pirates type, this character cannot be KO'd in battle and gains 2k until the start of your next turn. Then add the top card after your hand. So this is decent. It's a 3-6, I mean, it's a three six, right? Like, this is pretty good. Um, the, obviously, the downside, right? You have to take the damage. Um, and this is one of those ones where I don't think the effect is really good enough that I'd be happy taking the damage, like, ever. And sort of being forced to use your leader effect every single turn this card is out is not great. So um, I think this is more mid, but I think this is, I, mean, I don't think it's bad, I just think it's a bit awkward. And then we've got Hachan, this is a 4-5, 1k counter, trigger, play up to one Fishman or Merfolk character with a cost of 3 or less from your hand, so this trigger's okay, um, I wish this was a 2k counter. And then we've got a 2-2 blocker here, that's Fishman traded. Next we've got Vanderdecken the 9th, this is a 2-2, 1k counter, on play you may trash a Fishman type card from your hand, or trash a Noah's Ark from your hand or field, KO up to one of your opponent's rested characters. Being able to KO anything is, of course, 
extremely powerful. Um, and this is an absolute staple for of for that reason. And we'll see what Noah's Ark does, but that is a, a amazing card, and you're going to be more than happy to trash it for this card's effect. Next, we've got a 4-6 here in Hyozo. Uh, activate main once per turn. Rest up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of 4 or less, and this character gains 1k during this turn, and then you add the top card of your life to your hand. So this is, again, very, very powerful. Free 7k swing. Of course, you are taking the damage. And I think this is sort of the main issue with the Fisherman Pirates deck, is there's a lot of these taking damage effects, and, like, essentially playing like the leader can't attack. These effects, I don't think, are good enough to justify that. So it's a little bit awkward, but the deck, I think, is solidly, like, tier 2. Okay, next we've got the best card in the set, probably, uh, besides 8 cost Mario. This is a 7-8 uh, Rush, Holy Jones, on play, rest up the total of two of your opponent's characters or Don, then put the top card of your life into your hand. This is insane. This is uh, going to see play in every deck that can play it, pretty much. Um, outrageously generically powerful. Um, game ender, like, it's just so, 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 so good. Um, pick yours up on release. I'm telling you, it will increase in price. Uh, next we've got Watatsumi, this is just a 6-8. And then for the events, we've got a two cost one here that says K up to two of your opponent's rest of characters with a cost of three or less. And the trigger activates this card's main effect. Actually, I think this is probably better in something like Perona, but it is Fishman Pirates Traded. And then we've got Noah's Ark, which says rest all your opponent's characters and the trigger puts this card into play. So um, obviously this is one of those cards that you want to be hitting off of a trigger um, and it's outrageously powerful in the instance when you do. But this can also be worth just hard playing for six when your opponent's just got a board full of blockers and not much hand. Um, this can just let you win the game. Though obviously Holy Jones is always going to be better for only one dollar more. So overall impressions on the Fishman Pirates deck. I think it's very, very decent. I think it's, again, like Uta, one of those mid middle of the road, sort of upper uh, tier two strategies that you can take to locals and you can have a really good time with and you can probably win with, but I wouldn't really take it to a Nationals. I don't think it's quite on that level. In terms of support cards, you should probably pick up um, from previous sets, you want to be looking at set three for further Fishman Pirates stuff. Um, that is, I, I believe that is a set where we've got the Arlong uh, deck, and you probably want to be looking there for the Green Fishman support there. There's uh, 2k counters and those sorts of things you can find in that. You also probably want to be looking at just generically powerful green cards um, in terms of what you might want to use, depending on how you want to build the deck. Um, overall, again, as I say, it's pretty fine. Uh, if you guys found this video useful, please do like it. Subscribe to the channel for more One Piece card game content. Got lots more of that coming up. I do hope you guys found this useful. Please do check out my Patreon linked in the description. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more One Piece card game content. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Cheers.